This is a quick demo of the Pellucid Compressor. The design goals were uh, simplicity, transparency and low noise. Um, it's a very, very low noise device um, due to the architecture, the way the um, operational transconductance amplifier is placed in the feedback loop of the op amp. Uh, and I'm using a 5532, which is a very low noise op amp. It's pretty simple. Um, it's cheap to build, about 10 bucks in parts, um, low parts count. Uh, it fits inside a 1590B enclosure um, and it's got compression amount, just two controls, uh, sustain and volume, so very simple, fixed attack and fixed release times. And the compression amount goes from kind of very subtle to full on squish, you know, like a Dynacomp maxed out. Um, so it's very much in the, in the sort of Dynacomp school of tone. Um, it uses the um, two transistor uh, peak detecting sidechain approach, which is uh, what's used in the Dynacomp compressor, the Ross compressor, um, the Diamond optical compressor, uh, the DOD 280 optical compressor, the Mua Yellow Comp, uh, and quite a few others. So it's a fairly standard approach to um, the sidechain. Um, the OTA is in the feedback loop of the op amp, which is um, uh, something that's generally done for low noise approach in compressors. That's, um, uh, you've seen that before in the um, engineer stump compressor and, and several other BCAs. So yeah, anyway, I'll play it. I've got a, uh, I'm playing a Strat. These are Fender uh, vintage noiseless pickups. This is the uh, dry sound with no compression. <laughs> I've turned the uh, dynamics range control on the camera off, so um, there should be no compression on the actual video itself. You should just be hearing it on the guitar. So right now I've got the um, sustain set at midpoint at 12 o'clock and the volume at 1 o'clock, which is about equal output level for, for, for these pickups on the strap. I'll switch it on. So this is yeah, kind of halfway compression. This is kind of a nice neutral sound. <laughs> Plenty of squish there. Okay, I turn the sustain all the way up. This is maxed out, it's got a very, very large amount of sustain and it's maxed out about 40 dBs of gain or 40 dBs of gain reduction available, so it's pretty full on. But as you can hear, these are noiseless pickups, still very, very quiet, very little background noise. <laughs> maximum compression that's really squashing the signal. Um, I'll turn it down to about nine o'clock. Um, at nine o'clock uh, it's just providing a subtle limiting. It's still there. But um, it's, it's more subtle now. Okay, so yeah, and I'll just crank the uh, volume up to max. Let me give it back to that. So it also does kind of a little bit of a clean boost as well. So you go. And that's quite nice for um, driving the front end of an amp. So um, it'll uh, go from 
uh, very, very, very low output to about twice the level of output of, of a Stratton, about the equivalent of a you know hot-rodded um, humbucking pickup. So yeah, that's it. It's called the Pellucid Compressor. It's low noise. It's transparent when on, on low settings. Um, it's pretty cheap to build. It's pretty simple. Um, I've done a printed circuit board layout for it. If you would like to build one, um, you're welcome to get in touch with me and I can post you a PCB for $5 uh, plus postage. Um, it fits inside a 1590B uh, and I will send a link, uh, I'll include a link in the uh, posting with some uh, photographs of the PCB, uh, the PCB in the case, the, uh, the wiring assembly, uh, the schematic and so on. But um, yeah, I hope you uh, like it. I, I think it's a really nice uh, standard compressor. Uh, it's very different in character from, from the diode compressor that I designed earlier uh, and the, um, uh, the other compressors that I have. I have a, a DOD optical compressor, I have a diamond optical compressor, um, I have an engineer's thumb that I built, uh, the engineer's thumb redux with some mods that I did as well. Um, I have a um, uh, Empress compressor which is very very nice. Uh, unit but yeah I, I, I like this a lot it's it's kind of like a um a low noise cleaner version of the dynacomp it's a character compressor but it's um but it works well for you know for a wide range of tones both clean and uh, overdriven thank you